Okay, we appear to be back with more Vikings expeditions. Um, once I figured out where the hell my save was. Now that we're done with the uh, the king stuff and the war, I kind of want to try Chester again, but I also don't want to walk all the way the hell back down here. Like, way the hell back down here? We've still got lots of time. We're only two months into our journey, so I'm not overly stressed out about one or the other. I think we'll get to do plenty of whatever we want to do. Let's uh, see. So Sorry, Manny, we probably should bring Afy. It is like the Perthian victory celebration. I don't know why everyone else can't come. I should also go buy a bunch of wood so we can keep upgrading our settlement. Yep, 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 yep. Screwed everything up. Screwed everything up. Goddamn. Loading into cities. I was worried it wasn't going to be alright, but it turns out it is. Hmm. Okay, um. Merchant D person? Let's try her, see what she has for us. It's dark. Nice LaFerre. Watch other people. Itis. Those guys are. I don't have a cow in my dry stain. Oh, over here. Who has the woods? You do has the woods. You don't want valuables. What the shit is this? One medicine for two wood? Seems doable. Generous prices. Like it. Farvel. Farvel ice cream cakes. Uh, drinks and remedies? Oh yeah, that stuff. Forgot what he did. And you're just you're just chilling. Okay. Victory feast and nothing stupid's going to happen and go. Lately, I've been recording stuff, and it's been louder than I thought it was. Narrator so. dialogue. Oh Jesus! No. Checked. No. Exiting narrator. Stop. What? What? Okay. Just trying to get back to full screen. Jesus. All of Pictavia seems to have gathered in Perth. Really. Tables stacked with food fill the courtyards, and the banners of all the clans line the streets. The King's Hall is host to the leaders of all the clans who fought in the war, mostly us. The king arrives with your heard shortly after sunset and led into Constantine's hall. Oh, you arrive with your heard. The king is there himself to greet you. Welcome, welcome, Tanakh. Please take a seat and enjoy the ale. Uh, thank you. It was a great privilege to be here. The privilege is all mine, Tanakh. Every king should have find such allies such as you. You and your companions lay claim to one end of the table, and freshly brewed ale is generously poured from nearby caskets. Now the hall is full, the king has a short speech, and the food is finally brought out. Eat, drink, and be merry. Nearing midnight, the meal is almost over, but the caskets of ale appear to be bottomless. The king is checking on each of the guests in turn and makes his way eventually to you. I'm so glad you're here, Tanag. This isn't just a celebration of our victory against Northumbria. It's also, in a sense, about you. The king is orating now, and the talk among the clan leaders silences respectfully. You and your people were instrumental in the war. What most 
here may not know is the extent of your service to the crown even before the war broke out. Your deeds have been a lesson to us all not to judge a man based on the reputation of his kinsmen. Your fellow Vikings have brought much death and sorrow to our land. They burned our churches and raped our women and took us as slaves. Many around the table nod heavily. They have all lost people to the raids. We had no reason to expect more of you. However, you defied all our expectations. You came to us on a troubled time, and you risked much to forge our alliance. Uh... <laughs> our peoples have much in common. It's my honor to help bring us together. Spoken like a true explorer and a fine diplomat. A toast to Tanag and his crew. Slentim Muahualak Nafik. Sure. The salute echoes around the table as every picked raises their cup to your health. Huzzah! Game one. Well, that was easy. Should have done that ages ago. Long. Skill points. The rest of the celebrations are a bit of a blur. You recall a few fragments of merriment. Gunner dancing on a table. Gachan starting a fight with the clan leader's son. Afei treating the resulting injuries. Next morning, you assemble in front of the king's hall, laden with treasure. The guards at the door smile and greet you with genuine respect. What now? Where do we go from here? The Althane? Oh. Wow. We, we have won the game. Cool. Our work here is done, but this land holds more possibilities for us. We still have time as long as we're humble for the old thing. Sweet! Well, that works for me. So that's... that's awesome. Can I have my final level thing? I need 250. I'm only at 246. That's irritating. He's at 250. I think he has everything I want, though. He has heal... He doesn't have butt taunt. <laughs> butt taunt. Oh yeah, I was gonna do shield. Two hundred. Must spend two hundred and fifty. So I have to spend this seventeen first. What a crock of shit. Oh well. Um. I don't have enough points for anything else. Bah. Piss on everything. Okay. Well, I guess we could go do the Roman thing. Because we've got time and money to upgrade our homestead some more. I mean, we can get these numbers up quite a bit. We get the prosperity up a lot. Um, and the blacksmith will make our power go up. So I want to do that. The farms will get us the rest of the, uh, some more prosperity. Palisades will give us a lot more power, so I want to do that. So yeah, really just kind of dicking around until we get our homestead upgraded. I'm afraid if we go back now, we'll get the shit beat out of us. Well, so we have... Return to Skirn and speak to Astrodir to end your adventures in Britain. We can go talk to the, uh... The Thane of Orkney are, and surely nothing bad will happen. Oh, I kind of want to go bother those Romans now. I'll find out what the hell's up with all that nonsense. remember what button does the quick save but I can't controls F5 okay do my quick save we'll march on down here we can wander around burn some churches down we can do all kinds of stuff oh no everyone's gonna be hungry and sleepy and whatever I'm sure we'll be fine Dune free. See, we're totally there. Some stuff of interest. Uh oh, 
Uh, Rospa has been over the tray of roots being roasted in range top smooth rock. Oh, do, can we fall in love with her now? What are you doing? This person, her eyes focus on yours. I remembered an old ritual hold that taught me years ago for a remedy against hay fever, but under attack from other nature same, since we came here. She can tell I don't belong. Does the smoke help? You know much for your age. And you fight remarkably well for years. I'm no expert, but it seems you combine the relentlessness of a young warrior with the experience of one much older. Ha ha ha. And then we're both good at what we do, and perhaps we'll make it after all. Rosqua bites her lip to hide a grin, then her dark eyes fall suddenly, and she wraps her arm around herself. You jest, but there's some truth to it. I however wonder if any of us will make it home alive. Ah, we'll be fine. Yeah, yeah. Okay, here, this is for you. Uh, it's a special brew. It's difficult to make, but it's powerful. I worry about you when you fight. I always wish there was more I could do, so I thought of this. I thought it might help you. Maybe one day it'll save your life. Oh no, we could fall in love with Rospa the Black. Uh, no, that's fine, thanks. We, we appreciate that. The Vigor Tonic. Okay, good deal. Can we go now? No, we haven't tried to fall in love with Ass Lifer or the old lady yet. <laughs> okay, um, oh. Uh-oh. Oh. Afy, oh. drink the water. What? Why would you? Damn it, Afy. You silly shit. Now we have to camp again. Uh... Do we still have too much? We still have too much food. Okay. Raspa, fix the dummy. Uh, heal, Afy. Heal, Afy. Okay. It's like, you live here! Why are you drinking from stagnant water, you silly bitch? It's all your fault, Afy. I just wanted to go pick up the stuff. There's more stuff now. Two hides, two hides. 25 wood. Good stuff. Okay, hang on. I need to save. Afy, you're benched. I'm tired of your shit. I don't see Manny or Gachan or Zephyrus going around drinking old muddy water full of bugs and poo. It just looks so delicious. It was fortified with minerals and nutrients. <laughs> oh, lordy. Let's see if we get this bugged NPC, and if we do, hell, I guess we'll just go back home. But I tried, I went back in time to before we did Hadrian's Wall, and I went to Chester, and it was going to let me do it. I th actually, I might have done that with you guys. I did not have the bugged NPC. I don't appear to have the bugged NPC now. So that's good. Maybe we can actually do this damn thing. Springs eternal. I mean, I guess just as an opportunity to get experience and loot before you do the final... I'm sure there's going to be a battle between the skilled or, or whatever. Uh, where's Lady that wants us to save her brother? It's over here, right? Yeah. Okay. Halford, what's the matter? Who is it you? Uh... How will I recognize him? Where do you think he'd be? Why'd he join? Yeah, I'll see what I can do. Cultist with red hair and a yellow tunic with blue, blue trim. Oh, yeah, yeah, whatever. It's passing by. Oh, 
Okay, so we can just enter there. Good. Okay, so we need to come on down here. Let me talk to Severina. A lone woman guards the staircase, leaning on a spear and whistling tunelessly to herself. She inclines her head ever so slightly in greeting. Uh, Valeria sent me to fetch one of the doubters for his ritual. Yeah, yeah, sure. You have enough diplomacy that I believe you for some reason. We've made it to the dungeons! My goodness. We can actually do this. How nifty. Oh, goodness. We are already in the shit. A five? What are we looking at? A champion. Militiamen. Lots of shields. You must say, you don't look like an archer, you look like a healer. Their archers suck. That means I can probably demoralize them. Alright, is it Tanarg? Is Tanarg. Uh, Gatchan. We could probably we could pull one of them. Uh, let's pull the leader. Uh, Zephas, Manny, 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 why are you all the way back over there? Shit. in the graps. Stab him in the ass. Okay. Interrupt. Let's see. Ready. Have you come up here and ready? you ready. That'd be nifty. Okay. There. Okay. I'm good with that. We've killed your leader. Surrender yourself. Good job, Zephyrus. And resisted the stun. This is going to be a piss-easy fight. <laughs> Oh no! shield for you. <coughs> Punch his face off. Nice. Stand up. And we shall shoot you very hard in the face. She's been harried.
Huzzah! Easy peasy. Now let's find our person guy. Can we beat these up? Why, oh, yes. Yes, we can. stuff. Now, oh, come on, guys. Move faster. Uh, torture implements. Little tomb things? I don't know. Oh, well, that was easy. I don't want to go. I want to be a Roman. Well, I'll have to kill you then. Man in the cell looks abjectly terrified. He's shielding his face with his hands, repeating the same words over and over and over. Please, please, please. Are you the Theodore? He stops bleeding and stares at you for a moment. Then he nods slowly. Sister's looking for you. She waits outside. Can you make it? You let him slink past you, hugging the wall as he creeps upstairs for freedom. Yay. I wonder what else we can do here. Let's see, there were the the people being persecuted by I don't know, it was either Christians being persecuted by pagans or pagans being persecuted by Christians. <laughs> Who can tell? <laughs> oh goodness. I kind of want to go and see what the end of the game's like. My hero, I'm so glad to see you again. I'm happy to help. She holds out her hands, cupping an open pouch overflowing with glittering pence. Here I went and got the last of Father's savings. They're all yours. Well, thank you. Good luck. Yay! We got three skill points and a significant amount of valuables. Nice. Well, that's good. I don't know, my curiosity is getting the better of me. I think I want to go see how the end game looks. Because we're pretty ready. I wonder if it'll let me develop the homestead instead of just skipping three months. Like, let me just fast forward time. <laughs> 